this was probably one of my worst days in years. Like, one of my worst days that I can remember. I just, I couldn't get into it. Welcome back. We are at the gym again, of course, always at the gym. We are doing the Wadapalooza qualifier. This is a continuation of the last two videos you've seen. And this is now on to week two of the Wadapalooza qualifier. And I am going to be doing workout four and five. It is a back-to-back -back workout. So we're going to get in there. We're going to get warmed up. We're going to get started. If you haven't seen the past videos, you can check them out. I'll link them on top for you. But... Uh, I want to clarify that I'm doing this in the scaled intermediate division, and I am also doing this for fun. Um, I'm not trying to qualify. We do have someone at my gym. His name is Jackson Miller. He's trying to qualify in the elite RX division, so you can check him out on the leaderboard if you're curious about how he's doing. But for me, I am just doing this to have the possibility of signing up for intermediate if I want to. I did intermediate last year and competed in Wadapalooza. Oh, I did scales last year, mm, not intermediate. I did scales last year and I uh, went to Miami and competed at Wadapalooza. It was a lot of fun. I'm not entirely sure if I wanna go again this year. I think it depends on a lot of things finances being one of them, but also just what else is going on at that time in January. And if I want to travel all the way to Miami, which is across the country because I'm in Northern California for this competition. So not entirely sure yet, but I wanted to have the option open. So I need to do the qualifier because everybody, regardless of whether you're signing up or you're qualifying needs to do the qualifier. So we're going to do the last two workouts. This will be the first of the last two. And I'll do another video with the final workout. So we're going to head inside and get started on the first or the two, two back-to-back -back workouts that are workouts four and five. Gym. Um, I checked my emails, which is something I do all the time. I've checked them for work and some other personal things. And I got some bad news. And getting bad news right before you need to do a qualifier workout or just workout in general sometimes isn't the best, especially if you're working out like I am today and you're doing it completely alone. You just, it, it just sort of allows you to stay in your head and think about the bad news and maybe feel like you can't put your best foot forward on the qualifier workout that you're doing or even just your regular workout that you're doing. And it, you don't always have to push through. I totally get that sometimes people just need a break and you hear something like this and you just have to go on with your day and maybe not do the workout and focus on other things. And there's part of me that wanted to do that but this is a qualifier. I need to get it done by a certain time. I have work coming up this weekend and I don't have a lot of flexibility to do it other times. And I don't want to have to do both the workouts back to back. So I'm going to have to push through and do this workout. And I think sometimes it's hard to do that under these circumstances. And I know other people have had to deal with stuff like this, getting bad news and then having to, uh, continue with their day and not really focus on the bad news and I think that the workout can also be an opportunity to distract myself um, maybe I don't do as well on it as if I was going into it with a clear head and that's okay under my circumstances because like I've mentioned I'm just doing this more for fun and have the opportunity to sign up if I want to versus trying to qualify where this is like a do or die situation 
So we're gonna put the work in despite bad news and we're gonna focus on trying to be our best and I think that's something that a lot of people can do if they're in a similar situation. Just focus on taking everything one movement at a time. So this is sort of a chipper style workout. So instead of worrying about the time cap this right now because under some weird circumstances. So instead of thinking about time cap, trying to finish under that, I'm just gonna think about getting through each movement to the best of my ability and celebrating that in the moment. So let's just go over the workout real quick. This is workouts four and five for the Wadapalooza qualifier. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone so I can tell you what it is. And I'll also list it off right here so you can check it out. So workouts four and five, it's back to back or it's basically a continuous wad. It's four time, 1000 meter row, and that is the score for wad four. Just that 1000 meter row. But you don't stop after that, you go immediately into an, um, a mm, kind of a chipper. I was gonna say an AMRAP, but it's, it could be an AMRAP for me. Um, but it's also chipper with the time cap, and if you finish before the time cap, you're done. So it is 20 devil's presses, five wall walks, 40 box jumps, five wall walks, 80 wall balls, and then it goes backwards with what we just did. So five wall walks, 40 box jump overs, five wall walks, 20 devil's presses. Those devil's presses are at uh, 35, 50, so one in each hand, a th two, like, so two 35s or two 50s. And the wall ball is to a 10 foot target for all of us. So I guess that's just what we're doing now. I'm not super excited about that because I felt like I was really starting to make some good progress on that nine foot wall ball. And now we're going for the 10 foot wall ball. Always another challenge, like I said, dealing with some other stuff. So just focusing on getting through each movement, gonna celebrate each wall ball that I do and that I got through it today and that I stayed when I uh, didn't want to. I wake up, I go ball, I go hard with my dogs, bet it all, what's the call? Need a tan, never fall, polo socks, polo jaws, keep it tan, beat the eyes in my line, what you want, I pick up, yeah, yeah. Oh, love when it's Sally gon' ring, I'm putting on my team, money come flow, no sink, spring, 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 double cup, cup my drink, love my little baby, no leak, I be counting money, no shit, I get to it up in my seat. Choice had chain when the money came. Money bang him, get money bang. Need the money counter for the money, eh? No, I need you, so don't you run away. Mathematics act like a nerd. I'll be counting 30 by the third. Drop top doors go fur. SRT go skirt. Lady like a bub and seeing. I handle the business, then I, I get love in Europe, even. Ball so hard, I used to play. I'm never giving up. Do roll like a semi truck. Say what I'm saying, yeah, you're a paranoid. Yankee on my head, I guess that I think that I'm dead. Yeah. Huh? Love when the silly go ring. I'm putting on my team. Money come flowing, no sink. Spring, 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 spring. Double cup, come my drink. I brought the camera outside because loud inside and I just needed some air so that workout did not go well I was just not in the right headspace for it um, dealing with some stuff just pretty big uh, life stuff um, not stuff that quite everyone deals with but it's just a bad situation and it's causing a lot of stress and I got some news about it right before the workout, like minutes before I was gonna do the workout. And it's hard to get that off your mind. I am proud of myself for keeping going and attempting the workout, even though it's gonna be a pretty poor score and I am not happy with how I did. I am in some way happy with my effort because I think it's easier to go home in a situation like that. When something negative happens, when you're feeling anxious and stressed and you know you're doing a competition and you have all these outside influences that are negative, it's easy to be like, I can't do this under these conditions and just pack it in. And I am proud that I stayed and did the workout. I know I can do better, but it just wasn't happening today alone with all this stuff on my mind. And that's okay, you know, I wanna, I wanna be real on my YouTube channel, or as real as it can be, and um, not every day is a great day in the gym. And this was probably one of my worst days in years. Like, one of my worst days that I can remember. I just, 
I couldn't get into it. I didn't want to do it. Um, but I knew I had to do it, and I knew because of other commitments in my life that I just might not be able to get in here to do it again. And this was my one shot, and I was either gonna do it and have the opportunity to complete the qualifier, or not do it and possibly not complete the qualifier. So I committed to doing the qualifier, and I followed through. And I hope that if someone's watching this and is going through a rough time and is having trouble getting themselves motivated to get in the gym, um, know that not every day is gonna feel like your best day. And some workouts are just gonna be tough and you're not gonna do as well as you wanted to. Um, and you're gonna be a little bit disappointed in yourself, but you're always gonna feel better knowing that you did it. So, do it, do the thing, whatever the thing is, whether it's like a qualifier like this and working out or whether it's something else in your life that you know that you should or want to do and are just having trouble getting it done, better to do it and know you tried. And that's what I did. So I will see you in the next one, um, hopefully under better circumstances when I'm feeling a little bit better and maybe have come to some resolutions with this uh, issue. And uh, I'm excited to see what's next, you know? Every crossroads kind of leads to a new journey. So, and everything's still unfolding. It's a mystery. Hopefully it ends up better than I'm worried it might end up. All right, see you later.